nighttime, blast from the past. Our specialist stole, um, created a new time machine, and we weren't sure exactly what to do with it. So, here we are, in the year 1891, here to talk to Bismarck about his foreign policy. Although, we're not quite sure he knows about it yet. Unhand me, you buffoon! Don't you know who I am? I am Bismarck! Where am I? What are you doing? Bismarck, to our special edition of SCA Nighttime, Blast from the Past. Who are you people? What is that strange contraption? We are journalists from the year 2007. Journalists are people who have mistaken their calling. Oh. Um. Well, as I was saying, we are here today to talk to Bismarck about his affairs with foreign policy after the unification of Germany. I am no longer a part of the Prussian government. Go ask that insolent Kaiser Wilhelm II. How do I get out of here? Let me out of here! Let me out of here! I command you! I am Bismarck! Let me... out. So, foreign policy? What did you want to know? What were your main goals? Hmm. Let's see. Keep peace in Europe. Keep our alliances strong. Out of the five major powers in Europe, we must be allied with the majority. I know our strengths and weaknesses. Smack in the middle of Europe. Sitting duck are we. No, sir. We are victorious over France and Austria. Our population is good and our economy is booming. Prussia will have its dominance at last. Oh yes, keep the French in isolation. Oh, those French, always eager for revenge. Keep them in the dark, you see. Speaking of France. <laughs> Welcome, General Bollinger, French War Minister to this special episode of Blast Bismarck. From the Past. You and I have a history and I haven't forgotten. No allies, no revenge, you say. I knew he never wanted peace in Europe. We recovered from the Franco-Prussian War, paid you off, recovered our economy, and then what did you do? You threw us, you threw on us the war, the Scythe crisis in 1875. Then you sent us off to Africa, so your chessboard is clear, and make a fool of me. What does monsieur? It's not my fault you wanted Britain's Egypt. Greedy French want Alsace-Lorraine. Egypt, what next? Alsace-Lorraine will never be yours. What after Italy's Tunis, too? Greedy and amateur! You speaking of Italy... Welcome, Francisco Crispy, to this special edition of SCA Nighttime, Blast from the Past. We brought you here specially today to talk to us about your role in Bismarck's foreign policy after he became Chancellor of Germany in 1871. Bismarck? Oh, yes. Always after our ships. Build the boat they are? Of course! Allances after Allances. Made in Allens in 1882. Triple Allens with... Austria and Hungary in 1882, Mediterranean Agreement with Great Britain in 1887, and then the second Mediterranean Agreement in December of 1887. Always after our Navy. Of course. And we ruin your foreign policy, Bismarck. 
Yes, we gave her the aid that you refused, and shortly after we forced an alliance with Russia. And the Bulgarian crisis of 1885 did not do much difference. Austria, Hungary had had you and I had you on your toes, but you snake! You always find a way to get out. <coughs> if there is ever another war in Europe, it will be some darn silly thing in the Balkans. Gorbachev, what are you chasing? Tsar Alexander III was twice the man you'll ever be. <laughs> and Boulanger. It was Russia that agreed in the Re Reassurance Treaty of 1887 to fight you if need be. What? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>